when we were a bit younger, you always seem to have a pretty healthy dating life. And it kind of blew my mind because I always I was just like, how are you meeting people? Because like, it was just, it actually like really annoyed me and I didn't yeah. realize how much because you're like, yeah, I'm on a date this week. Yeah, I'm on a date. I was like, oh, Tinder. And you're like, no. Well, so could you give maybe a few hints to people that identify as being a bit more introverted well, and maybe, how they can meet maybe people? Maybe because like when you were first coming into it, your idea of someone who has an active dating life is someone who is outgoing and extroverted. Yep. And that's yeah, how, was. that's the only way to do it. Hey guys, welcome back to Social Scope Podcast. I'm Matt. Ryan. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about introverts. Are you an introvert? Let's find out. Um, no, I'm not. No. <laughs> but in all fairness, I have I, am. I have noticed over the years that um, when it comes to going out and go, going to parties and big crowds, that has not been your cup of tea. No. Um, look, I am not going to say that I, I sit inside and <laughs> just watch my, my um, sports and anime shows all day long. Big percentage um, of the day, but not all yeah, day. <laughs> I do it a bit, but I do it because that's what I need to feel better and operate better in daily life that's the essence of an introvert is that we can we can still go out have fun and see friends but we also need time to ourselves just to recharge our batteries i agree with that but i think the problem is i think people almost see like being an introvert is like oh this is just what i am and it's all i can do people treat it almost like it's a disability and it's this weird thing where i've got so many friends that are just like i just don't like going out man i just don't like doing this i don't like doing that i'm like how much of that is introversion and how much of that is actually maybe a bit of a fear or an anxiety of putting yourself out there? Yeah, well, the, actually, I always say to people, like, the difference between an introvert and an extrovert is that it's not actually just a flip of a coin. Like, there's not a black or white version of mm. it. You're not either or. It's actually on a spectrum. So, everyone has a little bit of introversion. Everyone's got a bit of extroversion in themselves. And for some people, it's just stronger on one side than the other. Um, I find a lot of extroverted people who also, you know, struggle when they get into simply just one-on-one conversations, <laughs> whereas introverts thrive on one-on-one conversations and struggle in big groups. Yeah. Um, like I have the thing where people think I'm very extroverted. I'm like, I am when I am out. Do not get me wrong. I will talk to everyone about everything and anything, but I can also happily take two weeks in my room by myself to recharge because it still does take it out of me as yeah, well. Yeah. So I don't think, it, yeah, you're right. It's not as simple as a black or white type thing. But what I will ask is, because you, not to go in to too much detail or anything, but I always noticed when we were a bit younger, you always seemed to have a pretty healthy dating life. And it kind of blew my mind because it always, it was just like, how are you meeting people? Because like, it was just, it actually like really annoyed me and I didn't yeah. realize how much because you're like, yeah, I'm on a date this week. Yeah, I'm on a date. I was like, oh, Tinder. And you're like, no. Well, so could you give maybe a few hints to people that identify as being a bit more introverted well, and maybe, how they can meet maybe people? Maybe because like when you were first coming into it, your idea of someone who has an active dating life is someone who is outgoing and extroverted. Yep. And that's it how, was. that's the only way to do it. But um, no, for me, like it, it took a lot of like practice and a lot of um, trying to analyze it and figure it out. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of guys, unlike girls, is that, you know, I hate to generalize it, but girls kind of just go out and need to worry about, oh, how do I look today? You know, yep. <laughs> how, you know who, who am I going to... They don't. It's not even on their radar of how to like struggle or how to meet someone, you know, in terms of dating. Yeah. But definitely. I think for me, like I just, I just, I thought about it and I also realized that I don't have to bend myself to the extrovert playing field in order to get results. I decided to play it on my terms. And that meant just doing things in smaller chunks, uh, doing things in quieter environments as well does help a lot. Uh, You know, you've got so many environments that are uh, you don't think about and are untapped, such as like libraries, (laughs) skating rinks, (laughs) skating (laughs) rinks, the roller drone, hunting for quail, (laughs) (laughs) fishing charter. (laughs) You know, plenty of places you can meet girls. In all seriousness, like what? Are the actual spots that you kind of found you were meeting people? Well, I was at university at the time. And if you're a university student, don't waste those golden years because you do get to meet a lot of beautiful, like-minded people. That makes me so upset that I was in a relationship all of uni because I'm just like, there was so much that like I could have been experiencing. And it's not that I've wasted that time. Like I had a great partner at the time. But 
it is a great time to actually learn those skills. Yeah, it's an absolute it's an absolute resource of um, meeting not just like the opposite sex, but like meeting new friends, and mm. it's it's where you really bloom as a person when you you start hanging around people who like the same thing as you and that's yeah. a rare thing you don't get that so much in high school you kind of just lumped with <laughs> <laughs> every, every dead <laughs> shit <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dead um, yeah so university was a big resource but also like um, going out as well just going out shopping going out on the street and sometimes by myself sometimes with friends uh, you could just strike up conversations and the way an introvert should do that sort of thing is by just taking it in small chunks. Hmm. So I'd often go for just 30 minute, go out there, walk around, just give people compliments. Yep. Just go and say hello to people. I'm a big believer to, in that. Yeah. So it's not about having an agenda when you go out because if you have that agenda, that's when you're going to probably get your ass rolled. Yeah. Well, well my, extrovert, <laughs> my extrovert version of that when I started becoming single was like at day festivals or fairs or whatever it is, something that, don't be wrong, is quite heavy. But I will do a similar practice where I'd walk past and if I saw a girl in a cute dress, I'd be like, fuck yeah, cute dress and high five her. And she'd be like, oh, thank mm. you. But then walk. It's not about you have to stay in that setting. You've just thrown that compliment. You watch her light up with excitement. You go, I could probably keep doing that. Yep. And that you can do that in quite a sense. You don't have to be the big high five or anything like that. But you can just go, holy crap, your hair is amazing. And what you, you know, get like, through that is you get a feedback loop going mm-hmm. where – you get a good feeling and it's so easy. It's, it's hard to get it started, but it's easy to keep it going. Mm. It's just hard to do that first thing because you're, you're in your head most of the time. You want, you're thinking to yourself, oh, she's not going to like what I have to say. <laughs> I'm a creep. I shouldn't be here. What am I doing? Yep. But even just the simplest compliment you can give, don't need anything back from it. Hi, how are you going? You look great today. Yep. See you later. Yeah. That's all you need to do. And no, if, as long as you don't overstay your welcome, People are pretty happy with that. But that timing thing is something that I kind of want to break into. And this goes for extroverts as well. This is really important advice. People think that we were talking about this recently, that that time invested equals bigger return. And it's not the case at all. It's actually about the impact you have within that interaction. You can have a two-minute interaction that's more powerful than a half an hour, hour conversation because you've spiked emotions in a positive way or you've created a difference or disrupted the flow of a normal day for someone throwing those compliments out for the rest for at least the next 10 minutes after that one sentence you've thrown at them and going oh i do look cute today i do yeah. feel, you've lifted that person's spirits and that's more impactful than just hey how are you so what do you do for study oh yeah cool oh yeah that's nice like that's just a conversation it's just words yep and whether you're an introvert or an extrovert or not it really comes down to your ability to read the environment mm. and understand the vibe that you're in. Mm. If you are if you open up an interaction and realize that it's, well, you should be able to realize whether she likes it or she doesn't like it, whether it's going good or, good or bad. Yeah. And there's telltale signs that will help you to recognize that, whether she's smiling, she doesn't look <laughs> yeah. like she wants to leave. Uh, she might uh, have a, a more relaxed posture where she's willing to stand in place for some time. If you can read those cues, continue the interaction. See, I think a lot of people, introverted or extroverted, they they don't know how to close off the interaction. Yeah. And that's, and even just acknowledging that things, that it's a bit off or a bit weird, like you can do that. Like, because what's weird is when people don't realize that something's weird. (laughs) That's when people go, oh shit. Like you see her checking her phone, she's like, or looking at her watch or looking around. That probably means that she's uncomfortable and she's looking for a reason to escape. Mm. So you can always throw in, sorry, I know this is kind of weird, yep. but I, d- I always say this. This is in almost every podcast. I know this is kind of weird. You've addressed it. Yep. And then if she lightens up, or oh, you get that little yep. sigh of relief, you're good to chat for a little bit longer. But if you get a, yeah, go, okay, well, I won't bother you anymore, but I, I just want to say you look nice. Hope you have a lovely day. People, we are so afraid of awkwardness. And that's probably one of the big big fears that we have when we when we go into this situation. But we, the only way to defuse awkwardness is to call out the awkwardness. Yeah. And it'll instantly make yourself and the other person feel more comfortable. I love when people go, oh, well, it's awkward now. I was like, no, no, it, mm-hmm. it was awkward before. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. like um, I, I love like when you get thrown into a conversation at a party with your partner's friends and you don't really know them. Mm-hmm. And you're having this shit conversation that's going nowhere. You go... 
well, this is kind of crap, eh? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. And you laugh. And we're like, oh, thank God. I was yeah. just thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can actually <laughs> genuinely communicate. Yeah. You've had an impact. Yeah. Um, the next thing I want to talk about was you were talking about sets. And I think that's a really great way to look at it. Like, Let's go talk on. about sex, B. B. Not sex, sets. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sets. Introvert sex is a whole other thing. You can have the intimate moment there. Um, (laughs) I do that all the time. (laughs) But in regards to like the trick I do when going to the gym is you only have to do 15 minutes on the treadmill and then you can leave. Mm. By the time you're there, you start going a little bit longer anyway. Mm. So maybe talk a little bit about how you developed those habits with your interactions. Mm. Yeah, to get that ball rolling is that uh, it comes from that feedback loop. So if you can can kind of – it's hard to force yourself at the start Mm. to – to start a set but see a lot of introverts like to work alone and i have gone out with other people before to to see what it's like mm-hmm. and i don't operate so well that way and i think generally introverts operate better in an everyday environment because that's just where they're more relaxed so um if you're going into the the best thing to do is spend 30 minutes just constantly going around talking to people and giving compliments or mm-hmm do the old ask for directions to start off with, just so you're getting used to opening your mouth. (laughs) I don't really encourage going into shops and buying stuff and talking to the cashier to Mm. warm up because that's very forced. Yeah. If you happen to be at the shops, by all means, throw a, Throw a word out there or throw something, but I. If you need to, just go yeah. and talk to the, get some advice on like some clothes from the the, the cash register lady. Like yeah. you can do that. Don't do it with it. the agenda of I'm only going into this shop to talk to someone because yeah. that's people can tell that. But if you're in a shop, it's a great place to warm up. Mm. But I don't advise. Like I've done it a few times because it was a very clear signal. Mm. But I don't advise then moving further with someone who's just there to work. Mm. You know, I mean, they're, yeah. they're there to be professional. They're there to do that thing. And they're going to be courteous. So yeah. don't take advantage of that because that's a kind of a creepy move. I, I have once or twice, but that's because it literally has been like yeah. the girl made an excuse to come and talk to me later or something like that, yeah. you know, and I'll that's be like, it. am I reading this wrong? Maybe want to grab a coffee sometime. And yeah. Yeah. I think um, that's a that's an ex- uh, next. This step, is this is like a, these are all tactics that you can have in your pocket, yeah. in your toolbox to, to kind of get things going. Yeah. Um, do 30 minutes and just put a timer on your phone. Once yep. that 30 minutes is off, give yourself a 20 minute break to literally just go and get a drink and sit by yourself quietly. Yeah. <laughs> do nothing, you know, and have that reward. You say, okay, fuck, I've got to just get through this 30 minutes. Even that 30 minutes end, a day. It, yeah, like you could literally sure. just that one 30 minutes. It's like, I don't care what you do for the rest of the day, but for that 30 minutes, you need to be, you need to at least put in the 30 minutes a day. It's like find 30 with your exercise. Yep. Same sort of thing. You can combine those things and go for a walk. Yeah. Everything <laughs> snowballs. Yeah. Like you just got to get that momentum. It's just like when going to the gym, like it's easy to fall off the wagon for like a couple of days or weeks at a mm-hmm. time and it feels fucking hard. Yeah. But once you just get back on, take that first step and do it again, then do it again the next day a little bit. And, you know, like the that saying that Rome isn't built in a day, it's so true is that you mm. just can't expect to have everything that you think you want in one day yeah. um the next step i was going to talk about um going to social events and stuff like that you can actually leave mm. like people don't care that you're not there all night but friends whatever they do appreciate that you have rocked up yeah yeah you know i mean like that's something that's like you hear that introverts yeah you can leave yeah but you just got to go <laughs> to, <laughs> to leave. <laughs> exactly. But like, that's the only thing I ask for. Like, oh, so I've got friends that are introverted. I'm like, man, I appreciate that that's how you are. Yeah. But if something's on, just, just rock up for the half an hour or an hour. Yeah. You'll make such a better impression if you just go for a little bit and then leave and don't have to make some excuse. Over. You just say, I'm gone. Yeah. You know, <laughs> if, have a good day. I'll see you next time. If you're out with your friends, yeah. they should know that about you. Yeah. And they'll appreciate. It's, it's not about, once again, the time. It's about effort. Mm. It's about like, like it's with money and stuff like that. People talk about like, you know, wh- what partner should buy f- dinner and blah 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 blah. It's never about an exact currency exchange should be dead equal. It's mm. about effort. It's about gesture. Mm. That's what people appreciate. It's like, oh, they might earn less than you. All right, well, as long as they put up the same sort of percentage effort, mm. that's appreciated. And it's the same thing. It's yeah. like if you're an introvert, an extrovert's going to understand that. Like, All right, this is harder for you, but I appreciate that you put in. Yeah. That amount of effort. And people appreciate honesty as well. Mm. Like I, I've written about this before. It's just that honesty is just one of the best, like, you know, virtues you can have. I think, and I used to do it as well, like coming up with excuses to try and leave situations Mm. or not go to situations. Mm. 
um, you'll just make such a better like bond with other people if you're just honest about yeah. what you want to do. Uh, guys, I'm a bit burnt out. I'm out. Don't go, oh, I don't know. You know, I'm just kind oh, of feeling I've got to go wash my dog and oh, then no, oh, I've, I've got to diffuse a bomb. And yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck. I'm going on my fishing charter tomorrow to hunt yeah. quail. Course, you know? the charter. <laughs> the charter. <laughs> yeah. But just, just be honest. Hunting be like, quails yeah. on a fishing <laughs> charter. Exactly. Oh, oh. Sniper <laughs> rifles are powerful these days. <laughs> that just got really harsh really quick. I don't condone any of that. Yeah. It's um, that AK-47 yeah. you've got over yeah, there. Of course. That they Who can't are you, see. bone thugs? <laughs> Okay. They're still cool, right? Fucking earth. Um, but the point being, just go, guys, you know I don't do well in these sort of environments. I'm here. I love yous, but I'm off now. Yeah. And most people go, yeah, fair enough. All right. Okay, I'll catch you the next thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, That's yeah. it. Um, the, one of the closing points we were talking about was um, a lot of I've had people go, oh, can't people just accept that I'm introverted? And it's like, we can accept it, but the truth is we don't care. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like as an extrovert yeah. I don't care that you're introverted Because yeah. for me it's just like And that might sound harsh But it's actually really relieving mm. Like to know that people don't care Whether you're introverted or extroverted We're all self-centered yeah. <laughs> Like yeah. even the people who are very selfless Are still self-centered in one way or another um, At the end of the day Just because you're introverted That might be what you are But if you want to be that And you want to stay at home And you want to chill And you want to do nothing That's fine mm. I actually have no problem with that but you don't get to complain that you're not meeting people and that things yeah. interesting things aren't happening to you. Yeah, yeah. I know it's easy to get anxious, um, worrying about you know how people perceive you and that you're not doing enough to, I don't know, show people that you're you're a good quality guy or girl. But you really do need to worry about how much value are you putting out yeah. there to the world, because that that question of like people should just accept that. You know, I'm an introvert. That's who I am. Like, how does that help other people? Like, yeah. how are you contributing to society? Exactly. And like I said, no problem if that's what you want to do. But you just don't get to complain. Yeah. It's that simple. <laughs> like, it's it's like, oh, no. I wish I was fitter. Well, I don't get to complain because I'm not putting enough effort at the gym. <laughs> yeah. I want to be and that's my goal. So, I'll take steps to do that and that's great. Mm. But I don't get to complain. It's like... Well, why can't my body just be fitter and ripped? It's like, because you're not doing the fucking work. <laughs> like, <laughs> People, girls always say that I'm fat. And yeah. It's like, well, what are you doing to like fix it? Yeah. No, I'm just, I, you know. Just wanted to complain. Because <laughs> <Okay, laughs> like, we all like to complain. Yeah. Like, we still do. I still complain about shit I shouldn't. Um, I but hate complaining. Yeah, so do I. I, I think I'm, I like, I rarely complain these days. I don't. I think because I'm too easygoing. <laughs> and my, my partner said this to me. I'm just such an easygoing guy that I don't... I would rather just, you know, let something bad kind of happen and yeah. then I just walk away from it and not complain about it than put up a big fight about things and make a hassle. Well, you can, put a, you can put a lot of energy into the fight against something that just is. Mm. And that's where you actually burn yourself out. That's where that shit actually consumes you and takes over your life. It's like... Yeah. Like we've talked about this before with the breakup, the person who's still bitter about their ex from fucking two, three years ago. I was mm. like, dude, that's your fault. Mm. <laughs> You've let that keep burning and gnawing away at you. It's like instead of, you know, that whole um, responsibility thing, it's like just because they hurt you doesn't mean it's their responsibility to fix you. It's still yours. And that comes mm. down to everything. It's like if you want to do stuff and you want change, it's your responsibility. Yeah. So with your, if you're an introvert, like seriously, just take a few steps to to change that. And it's not about turning you into an extrovert. It's about, all right, I'm introverted. There's introverted girls out there. There's introverted guys that you can partner up with lovely. Yeah. But you still need to get out of the house to actually find them. Yeah. So, yeah, the, I guess the big points are, you know, everyone has a different, you know, style of doing things. Mm. Introverts like to do things in a bit more quiet and subdued way. Extroverts, you know, we'll do a whole other podcast on that. <laughs> um, realize that it's you do have a responsibility over your own actions and what you do and the value that you put out to the world and yeah don't worry the world isn't doesn't revolve around you and yep. that's a good thing yeah and remember when you do connect impact have real conversations ask real things don't ask about the weather or their basics on the day just ask why why something's important to them why they're studying this why that and the people will actually start to open up to you and they'll do half the work for you yeah because <laughs> yeah people's Be favorite listener. subjects themselves yeah, yeah. i mean that's the power of an introvert i talk way too fucking yeah. much yeah i mean we could just sit in silence and try that
subscribe to social <laughs> scope podcast uh thank you so much ryan that was a lovely little episode in between us in between us <laughs> can be <laughs> yeah sure no i think that was a really good subject but yep like subscribe all that junk introverts we still love you but just don't make excuses for yourself. We have a book hopefully coming out pretty soon uh, where we go over all the different personality types and ways that you can head out there and start meeting people. So excited to drop that. Anyway, guys, have a really lovely evening and enjoy the new year. Bye.